Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Totemic palette by Unicorn Cosmetics. Um, the Totemic palette comes in a diamond shaped palette. You get 10 shades in total. You've got four shimmers and six mattes. And this palette was inspired by the rainforest. Um, you've got shades such as Aura, you've got Toucan, which is a duochrome shade, um, gold with red and green reflex in it. You've got this beautiful peach colour, Sugar Glider. Then you've got this bright green, um, Gicotta. Um, you've got a beautiful shimmery purple in Honeybird, Hummingbird. Um, you've got a blue um, called Honey Creeper. This lovely like sea blue shimmer is called Fauna. Then you've got a bright yellow which is called Bumblebee. You've got a beautiful brown here called Mawari. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing um, that. That yeah. <laughs> um, and then also you've got this lovely bright um, bold orange um, called Monarch as well. Each pan contains two grams of the pigment. Um, again, vegan and cruelty free, and they're not a private label as well. Not only do you have beautiful artwork on the front and beautiful colors, but 3% of the profits of the Totemic palette will be going to the World Land Trust, which is to help preserve wildlife and to help preserve the rainforest as well. They currently are retailing at $24.99 on unicorncosmetics.com. However, I got mine um, for £21.20 on Beauty Bay. Um, so they were doing a, they're doing a big massive sale, so I got back 15% off. So right at the wrist we have that beautiful bright green Gikota, then along we have the Honey Creeper shade and then along here we have that beautiful bold orange um, Monarch. So next at the wrist we have Aura, then along that beautiful yellow Bumblebee and that beautiful dark brown it's coming out a little bit maroony but it, it's a, a dark brown um mawari the duochrome shade um sorry my camera isn't picking it up properly uh, i've got the duochrome shade toucan we've also got the blue shimmer shade fauna we've also got the hummingbird shade and then we've got a beautiful peach pinky peach shade sugar glider as swatches they're not really coming out very well um, but I'm hoping that they're gonna perform differently on the eyelids. I've already prepped and primed my eyes and I've already got my foundation on so what I really want to do now is that I really just want to get into this palette. So I'm going to go into the Monarch shade and I'm having to dip into this pan quite a few times to pick up shade onto my brush but let's just see how that performs. Next, I'm going to be dipping into that bright yellow shade called Bumblebee. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Okay, so that's picked up really well. I'm having to like tap off some excess. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be taking this into the inner corner of my eyes and just sweeping that backwards and forwards maybe pick up a bit more blending that into that beautiful orange shade kind of give it more of a sunset look
That's very nice. I do like that. I have to say that these shades are blending like an absolute dream. Like I'm not getting any patchiness. Um, I am, I'm not getting any issues with the way that they are blending. So this is, this is really good. So next I'm going to go into the duochrome shade Toucan and in fact what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take it onto my finger and I'm going to apply it with my finger and see how that works. Oh that's nice. Oh, it is very, very beautiful. That's very beautiful. I'm, I'm very impressed. I haven't got any fallout. I've got some of the gold glitter under my eye due to my big fat finger. Um, but I haven't had any fallout as well on my eyes. And these are quite um, pigmented shades as well. That's very nice. That's very nice. Um, yeah, lovely. I'm gonna take some more actually and pop that on there. Hmm. That is very cute. I do like that. So in the corner here, um, I really I'm gonna try the Aura shade, which is a almost like a a reddish purple I guess so I'm gonna just pop this on the on the outer V sorry the outer V I'm gonna just work that into the And I'm just going to take, I'm going to take that yellow, that yellow shade and I'm just going to buff this out. It's kind of smudged a little bit of the glitter to the other side, but that's down to me. Yeah, I'm thoroughly impressed with how that's blended out. Um, yeah, really good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna quickly go off camera, I'm gonna apply some mascara and some eyeliner, and of course do the other eye, and then I'll be back with my final thoughts. Hey guys, and I'm back. Um, so I did my lower lash line as well as pop on some mascara and some eyeliner. Um, and I said I was gonna give you my final thoughts and I completely forgot that I actually picked up a Unicorn Cosmetics highlighter as well. So before I give you my verdict on the Totemic palette, I'm gonna be testing out the Unicorn Cosmetics uh, highlighter. <laughs> So this is the Unicorn Cosmetics Bloating Highlighter, um, beautiful prismatic um, packaging, um, kind of reminiscent of the Luna Beauties uh, highlighter as well, so that's, uh, that's very interesting. Um, I have swatched this and gosh, if I can open it, so that's what it looks like, oops. So this is the colour that I got, it's a champagne gold in the colour Glow Go. This is meant to be a buttery but buildable um, highlighter for a soft application or if you want to be um, like I do, I just want to just glow basically then you know you can build it up to, to look like that. Um, also you get a mirror as well on the top. But let's let's do a bit of a let me show you guys the swatch. I 
but let's see how it actually performs on the skin. Yeah. Swirling, I'm patting, trying to pick up. Okay, so they wasn't kidding when they said that it was buildable. Literally, I've swirled around, I've patted into the pan and I'm getting the ever so slight uh, highlight. See now, 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 now it's building up. Okay, now I can see it, but it's really, really sheer. Like you really do. If you want, if you want a wet look, almost you have to, you have to build. You have to keep at it. If you're into highlighters that just give you a subtle glow then this is going to be absolutely perfect for you however if you're into your super wet looks then probably this may not be the one for you um, what I am gonna what I am gonna do is that I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna try and apply it see now that's kind of I can even see it now on the monitor Yeah, that's that's applying a lot more better with a with a beauty blender, um, and you have to be quite firm as well. Pick my temples as well. See, that's 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 a lot more my that's a lot more my bag. Yeah. Yeah, I want to be, I want to be glowing. I want to be like a golden goddess. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the Totemic palette first of all. Um, I'm going to give it a rating. I'm going to give it a rating of 6.5 out of 10. Um, what I liked about the palette, I, I love packaging. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous design on the front cover. Um, I also really like the practicality of it as well as, if I can open it, <laughs> as with the front cover you can flip it right back so you can just have it in your hands like this and also you have a mirror that you can see yourself in as well rather than just seeing your eyes so I think that that is a really good design. The colours they are very pigmented um, and they do blend very well however they do have a bit of a chalky feel to them they're described on the website as buttery um, I didn't really get that buttery feeling to them to me they just kind of felt a little bit chalky um, especially this honey creeper shade um, that to me almost was a little bit more crumbly as well and slightly patchy on the swatches but the colours that I tried, for example, the Honey Bee, the um, Monarch shade and also the Toucan shade with the Aura shade, um, absolutely a dream, blended really, really well. Now for the highlighter, I would probably give this a 6 um, out of 10. I do like this packaging, it is very cute, it does feel quite luxe as well. Um, however, I just, for my personal taste, I do like a blinding highlight to the skin. If you are a subtle highlight person, then you will probably end up liking this. Um, but for me, I just really, really like something that's gonna just, you know, boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, um, this is it for my makeup review on Unicorn Cosmetics. I hope you find it helpful and um, see you in the next one. Thank you. Take care. Bye.